Mistake number one, less intro, more facts. When people search for a video, they're not necessarily looking for your name, what your channel is, why you're making the video. They wanna know the information they're searching for. Pull them in with facts first, and then once you show that you know your stuff, then add in that background information. Mistake number two, no one is interested in my beer reviews. I started doing that because my name is Beer in Beautiful Places, and I wanted to set my channel apart. However, it's not related and a lot of people click off during that part of the video. Mistake number three, there's a big difference between informational hiking videos and hiking vlogs. So for this video, I'm gonna separate it into three parts. First, I'm gonna talk about informational videos, then hiking vlogs, then general info for hiking channels. Period. Usually I make videos to help my fellow adventurers, but I know a lot of the people that subscribe to my channel aren't necessarily newbies. They're just people that have their own hiking channel and they wanna support someone else doing the same thing. So I would be glad to pass on all the information I've learned, sometimes the hard way. Beer in Beautiful Places focuses on all kinds of adventures, but it's mostly been hiking so far. So this video is just gonna focus on having a hiking YouTube channel. And if you're wondering, my name's Maddie. So informational videos, in my experience, majority of the time they get way more views than hiking vlogs. I think that's because it's just more searchable. People don't necessarily all wanna know about this one unknown person's hike and that they had a great day. They wanna know information like how to dress for a cold hike, what to pack in your day pack. However, I don't notice a difference in getting subscribers between informational videos and hiking vlogs. So I think it's best to have a mix of the two. Talking fast, quick cuts between words can make it seem like a fast video, even if it's longer than usual. When I started making informational videos, I did recaps at the end because that's what I would like to see. Apparently no one else does because that is when I lost a lot of views. So just skip the recap and if people have questions, they'll ask. Also, I tried to do a quiz in a video one time like you see in a magazine, just a flow chart quiz, just something fun. But a lot of people didn't really understand what I was going for and it wasn't as popular as I hoped it would be. I'm a person that likes to make a lot of jokes. With a face like this, how could I not be? But if your joke isn't gonna land, maybe you can rethink it so the punchline's a little different or just leave it out. Because if it flops, it'll really flop. Trust me, I would know. Also, pop-ups are everything. One time I did an experiment and made a video with nothing appearing on the screen around me and it didn't do so hot. So, experiment over, that doesn't work put pop-ups in your videos. I also find timestamps really helpful because your viewers can skip to something they're specifically looking for. You may think that it's just gonna make them skip around your video, but if they don't find the information right away, they're just gonna go to a different video. It also helps me with analytics because I can tell exactly what people were looking for. Now let's talk about hiking vlogs. Probably why you start a hiking channel is because you wanna make hiking vlogs. A little bit more funner to make. I've noticed my hiking vlogs that do better have more story to them. For example, there, one of the first videos I made was I tried to go on a waterfall hike. I led my friends the wrong direction for about a mile. And then when we finally got there, the waterfall was dried up. But because it had events to the story, that's one of my best performing videos. A lot of times I don't focus on where I am, what the specific trail is, because if I'm taking beer with me, a lot of times beer isn't allowed and I don't want people that work for them to come after me. So I'm just on some trail somewhere in the Kentucky wilderness. But I think in doing that, I'm losing potential audience members. For example, if I went to a specific place, I could find other people who I got that place and then I would have more potential viewers. The best way to start a video is either with action or beauty and as little information as possible. Maybe you tell people where you are, what you're doing, but if you go on with details, that doesn't hook people right away. Details are important, but I've noticed my videos do better if I save that for later. When I started making videos, I really loved showing off every tree, every rock, cool roots, 
but after a while that's not interesting to the viewer as it is to me. So what I've learned is only use your best nature shots instead of that being the majority of your video. Some hiking vloggers film themselves hiking and that's not necessarily my style but w when I do it's one or two shots per video. Something that really worked well for me is running ahead, setting up a tripod, running back, then hiking forward pretending I don't see the camera instead of hiking away from the camera and having to go back to get it. That way it's just a little more convenient picking up the camera as you go and the viewer gets to see your face so they know how you're feeling and that tells a little bit more of the story. Okay, now on to my general information for hiking channels, period. I've learned that sub for sub doesn't really work because if someone just subscribes to you to get a subscription back, then when they unsubscribe, it feels like you're losing people even though it has nothing to do with you. It is really hard to start off from zero subscribers and find people that are interested in what you have to say. So what I find is the absolute key to having a hiking channel is mutually supporting other people. I have a lot of people that I notice watch my video every week and comment and my heart goes out to you. I'll put your pictures on the screen and put links in the description. Please go check out these people's page, they're wonderful. And in return, whenever I have a spare minute, I go onto YouTube and say, okay, who has been commenting on my video that I haven't commented back on their video yet. Using that mutual support is really the key to growing. I've also had pretty negative results with setting a premiere, so I think I'm gonna try to do less of that. I have to go into work at 3 p.m. every day. By the way, I always post on Wednesdays during the middle of the week. And most of the time, I feel like when I post is an inconvenient time for my viewers. So I've been trying to set premieres. However, when I set premieres, those videos have been getting fewer views for some reason. That's just my experience. Also, a lot of times I think a video is kind of lackluster and it ends up getting more views than I thought. On the other hand, videos that I work really hard on sometimes barely get any views. It's always a toss up with how a video is gonna do. Don't count on anything, experimentation is key. There's really two schools of thought for hiking YouTubes. You're trying to someday make a career out of this, you're working hard, you're paying attention to your analytics, or it's just something you do for fun. I think both are wonderful. Both can serve you and add meaning to your life. And at the end of the day, we all just love sharing hikes with each other. Thanks for watching, bye.